With the ice melting away and summer just around the corner, owners on a quiet lake in Huntsville are hoping to keep it quiet and calm, which means free of motorized boat traffic. Homeowner on Clark Lake, Terry Souter, says she and the other homeowners on the lake recently discovered a long-held rule in the community about not using motorized boats actually doesn't exist officially. So they've set out to rectify that. Some of us thought that it was enshrined in a bylaw, but it is not. Or if it was, that bylaw has been lost over time. So we investigated what programs and what level of government um, we could get that enacted through and it turns out that the Federal Department of Transport, Transport Canada, uh, has a program that meets our needs perfectly. Uh, there's a very easy to work with representative named Nicole McMillan who's given us tons of information. So we went to general committee and we shared with them uh, who lives on this lake and how many people are in favor of this, this issue um, to keep it pristine and not, no gasoline motors and um, also uh, the reasoning, the rationale behind it from an environmental perspective and some protected areas for um, swamp life and marine life and aquatic life and little critters and stuff like that. And uh, also uh, shared with them the resources that exist from the Muskoka Watershed Council particularly and all the maps that are available through the District of Muskoka and the town of Huntsville that uh, uh, support the case. Souter says it's not just about peace and serenity on this lake, but also about keeping the local wildlife habitats free of gas and turmoil. Uh, it's not like you can use uh, or need, because it's so small, motorized vehicle to go somewhere. Um, for another, it's so shallow and it does um, support so many different kinds of biodiversity and it's in its swamp-like-ness <laughs> yeah. that... Um, uh, we want to protect that for the future. I mean, we want people to be able to enjoy this lake for a long, long time in their canoes and their paddle boats and their stand-up boards and their kayaks and even their little electric motors uh, so that there will be fish on, on the catch and release and so that um, everybody can enjoy the beautiful, clean water that this lake represents. It's, I mean, it's at the head of the water system for the quaternary little E system and Everything that it's spring fed, it flows into Lake Wasiosa. So everything down, everything's downstream from here. So if we can keep this clean, then we can be putting something clean to our neighbors.